Hello, so let's have a look at the help desk projects. Uh, on this screen I've got listed my help desk projects. As you can see, the help desk project may be associated with some mail or domain. This is for uh, ticket creation from emails. Afterwards there are some specific fields as contractual hours, monthly hours spent this month and whatever help desk project has aggregated hours or not. If I open project detail, uh, this is actually the standard Redmine project where I've got some description, I've got their tickets and here I've got some help desk statistics and these are hours accumulated from last period, our spend this month, our work this month and our remaining which can be negative as you can see. Let me go back to the project page and let me open the setting of help desk. So now I have opened the setting for help desk and here you can uh, you can select the default tracker for help desk tickets, you can select default assignee and co-workers. Afterwards here you define the contract or our monthly, whatever you want to aggregate hours, uh, when the aggregation starts and what's the aggregation period, whether quarterly, half yearly or yearly. And afterwards you can define the uh, domain for arriving emails. So if any email arrives from this domain, afterwards it is established as a help desk ticket in this help desk project. Uh, afterwards there is a SLA definition. You can define hours to response and hours to re resolution and SLA working hours and priorities etc etc. Uh, so each each help desk project has a, such a settings where to find SLA and contractual hours etc. Uh, uh, as you know there are also uh, standard realization projects in Redmine so let me show you how to create a help desk project from uh, any existing project. So let me open this existing project it's very easy. If you want to edit into help desk, you just need to press this button and afterwards the setting is available and you can set the project as a help desk. Let me go back to my help desk page and the project tab to show you how this page is configured. Again, uh, you can edit the page and there is just the HTML notice board which you can modify here it's another notice board here and afterwards there is just a help desk projects from filler there are some options some specific fields there is no grouping so the page is easy as this thank you for watching the tutorial